Hey guys, in this video, we're going to add some code to our pages to make sure that we check to see if there is an active user session when somebody tries to navigate to that page. If there is, then we allow them to go to the page. If not, then we redirect them to the login screen. Now on our website, we have a few pages that we'd want this kind of restriction on, and they all start with, well, the view attendees, so viewrecords.php and our add and delete and update pages. So I don't have any attendees here in my database right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly add one. All right, so I just created a, a new attendee and I just did that so that we could see the view, edit and delete. So once again, none of these pages should be accessible as viewrecords.php, view.php, edit.php and delete.php. Um, the only way somebody should ever get to those pages is if they are authenticated users. And so we're going to make some minor code changes to accomplish this. And the first thing I'm going to do is add an includes. So because it's the same kind of check that we're going to be doing across multiple pages, instead of rewriting this code each time, because the code is going to look pretty much the same way, I'm just going to create a new includes file. And I'm going to call this one auth underscore check dot php. All right. So in auth check, of course, as this customer, we start off with our PHP tags. And inside this auth check, I'm just going to do a similar if statement to what we did in our header dot php file. So in our header dot php file, we kind of did an if statement to see if there is a session that exists. And this was saying if the session for user ID exists or does not exist, then display the login button. Otherwise, display the hello username and logo buttons. All right. So in this situation, I'm doing a pretty similar thing where I'm just going to say if and I'm going to check for my session and I can use user ID. I can use username. So I'll just use user ID since that's what I used last time. So if, and I should be saying if not is set. So if this session does not exist, all right, because really and truly we're checking to see if it doesn't exist. So I'm saying if not is set, if that, if whatever doesn't exist and the thing that we're looking for the existence of is our session with, uh, with a subscript called user ID, if that does not exist, meaning that this has not been created at any point. That means the person is not logged in. So I'm going to say header and then set the location to be login.php. All right. So this is just doing a simple thing. It's just an if statement. If there is no active session with that username, with that session ID or subscript rather, then we just want to relocate to our login page. And now that I have this set up in the auth check, I can now include it anywhere that I need this check done. So I can start off with view records and at the top of this page, after I require header and require dbcon, and re remember that header would have included the session start. So what I'm whatever I'm about to do, I have to do after I include header because header, let me just bring up the code quickly, includes header.php. My header has the session start. So anything having to do with a session, I have to do after my session start, which is in my session.php. So I'm just going to say back in my view records file, after I include the header, which would have included the, the um, session start, I'm just going to include what I want to include once or require. So I'm going to require underscore once my auth check and my auth underscore check dot PHP is really just going to say, is there an active session redirect? So that means after I include the header and all of those wonderful things, it's just going to check quickly and say, is the person who is navigating here authorized, all right, or is that person logged in? If the person is logged in, then well, nothing happens. If they are not, meaning if this variable does not exist, that session 
subscript does not exist and we want to relocate them to the login.php page all right and then i can do the same check on pretty much every other page so i can just go to view.php and i'm going to go ahead and include it right there uh success that's fine we already dealt with success uh we want to restrict edit so i'm just including it under the header each time i want it on delete so nobody should try and delete a page or, or a record so i'm going to do that first so remember delete was very simple we didn't put it um anywhere really uh, give it a header and a footer we just have that page doing that operation and relocating but then the fact is nobody should be typing in delete passing in an id and they are not authorized to do that right so we're putting in this auth check before it even checks for the presence of the id if you remember how that code was written all right so we edited delete we we changed edit um and i believe oh and view and view records so that should be enough let us refresh the page and okay i'm getting an error oh my that was a bad mistake of mine i'm sorry i did not write includes slash all right so the error is that the file path was wrong so i'll just go ahead and update all of the files that i would have put the bad code in to have the includes slash auth check and not just auth check all right so once we do that then we should be able to refresh and then we see it just by refreshing it went straight to the login screen so let me do it from scratch so i'm i'm here on the public form and then i'm going to attempt to click on view records the off check would have known that i'm not logged in so it just redirected me to login.php if i type it in directly in the url it's the same effect if I try to go to edit.php, it's the same effect because auth check is running on each of these pages. If I log in and I put in my admin user and the password, then I will be redirected. And then the auth check would know that I am logged in each time I try to do something, right? Then if I log out, even though I'm on view records, when I click log out, it's just going to redirect me to index and then restrict me once again from getting to the page until I log in. So that's a nice, quick and easy way to kind of shut down who can see what on your website. You can push the envelope a bit by maybe including roles and then in the same auth check, you can, well, you probably wouldn't write, the, if you went into roles, you probably wouldn't write all of that code here, but in, in auth check, at least you're checking, is the person logged in? And then if they are logged in, then you can have further logic to say, okay, what role are they in as a user? And then restrict them accordingly. All right, so that's a nice, quick and easy way to kind of restrict who can do what on your website.